All right, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be going over our weekly forecast from the 7th until the 13th. I am a day late. These usually run on Sundays, and I do apologize for that. I got caught behind yesterday. Just going to go ahead and admit it. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias, especially the Instagram, which is where you can tag us in photos. And we'll be doing the viewer send in photos at the end of each of these weekly forecasts. You'll see that at the end of this one as well. Now... Looking at last week's temperature forecast, and we're going to compare this to what actually happened. So just go ahead and take a look. Try to memorize this, mentally memorize this, and then here's what actually happened. So take a look at it. Let us know in the comments how you think we did, uh, and uh, I really appreciate the feedback. The reason we do this is so that new viewers that come on and watch this, they don't have to be like questioning the credibility how you know I get a lot of comments how good does this guy usually do uh, if you see it in the beginning of the video how good we usually do on the weekly forecast then you don't really have to question it you can just you know take the accuracy for what it is and decide if you like it or if you don't so that's what we saw I think it did quite well I think I did quite nicely and I'm I'm very happy about it now starting off things with the precipitation forecast for this week again 7th through 13th we're daily and I do apologize for that now uh, it, a lot of times we do see the temper or the precipitation forecast, you know, all over the place. And this is another case of that. We see three different areas of below average precipitation and three different areas of above average precipitation, starting out with the first below average precipitation region from the Northwest down through into the Southwest with the exception of Southeastern or Southwestern California and also Southwestern Arizona as well. Uh, we see below average precipitation. In that lightest shade of below average precipitation, it's not really noticeable and you can get a bit of precipitation. Uh, but in that really more brown color, that medium shade of brown, that's where it's going to be a bit more noticeable that, hey, things are pretty dry for you guys out there. So for the Pacific Northwest and through a lot of the central regions of California, it's going to be quite dry this week. We also have a little bit of a dry region there for Michigan and Indiana. Not too notable, but it's going to be a little bit more drier than you would normally expect. But for the southeastern United States, with the exception of Florida, uh, so from Louisiana up through Virginia, we're going to be dealing with below average precipitation for this region as well. And we do have that brown shade once again for South Carolina, North Carolina, and Southern Virginia. That's going to be a region, again, where it's going to be a little bit more noticeable that we, hey, we have pretty much not a lot of precipitation following whatsoever for that region and it's going to be a little bit noticeable that it was a pretty dry week for you guys now for the above average precipitation regions we see montana down through wyoming and into the north central united states we're going to be dealing with a huge snowstorm for that region maybe even a blizzard for some regions in there we're going to talk about that in the special note segment at the end of the video so stay tuned for that a lot of the north central and central regions of the united states are going to be dealing with a huge snowstorm. Then we have one that kind of horseshoes around the Great Lakes uh, and dips down all the way through to Dallas and down into central Texas. We're going to be seeing above average precipitation, especially for that medium shade of green, where it's going to be a bit more noticeable that, hey, it was a pretty wet week. We had one in North Dakota, by the way, as well. Uh, and then that extends all the way up through into New England. And then for a little bit of uh, Florida there, you can hardly notice it. We do have a first shade of green region there, where it's going to be a little bit more wet than normal, but not going to be too noticeable whatsoever. Temperature forecast, you can see we have three different areas of above average temperatures that aren't too extreme, but we do have that below average region, which is very extreme. So from California out east through Oklahoma, Missouri, and then up into the north central United States, we're going to be dealing with slightly below average temperatures in that first shade of blue, not too noticeable, but it is going to be a little bit colder than normal on paper. But in that medium shade of blue, though, that's where you start to notice it that, hey, it was pretty chilly comparatively to normal this week. That might be what you're thinking for a lot of those Rockies regions and cent north central United States. And then for that third shade of blue, this time of year, especially for that region, you're probably going to be thinking, well, it's officially freezing. <laughs> that's probably what you're going to be thinking. And it's going to be snowing very heavily for a lot of those regions for you know, some of the days during this week. So it is going to be quite the wintry week for you guys for October there. Coastal California down through a little bit of Arizona there. We're going to be dealing with slightly above average temperatures there, as well as the Great Lakes and Southeastern United States. We're going to be dealing with some above average temperatures only in the slightly, you know, orange regions there. So it's not going to be too noticeable, but it will be a little bit warmer than normal on paper.
Now let's get started with the special note segment of the video. This is what really makes this series unique, and I'm sure you will enjoy this. Uh, we have, you know, special notes. We're going to have, I think, three or four on this episode, and this really just gives you an idea of what to expect. So we're going to be seeing significant cold air there for the Northern Rockies and some of those North Central United States. Again, it's going to be pretty much freezing for that region. So I just wanted to point that out, that it will be significant cold air for that region. And we have been dealing with that in the past, but that's going to be the most notable thing going on for you guys out there in the north central United States. You know, far below average temperatures, especially from a little bit of those eastern regions of Montana, where it's just going to be especially frigid for you guys. Now, our second special note. Huge change in temperature there out east with the exception of New England. New England's going to be average or slightly above average temperatures, and they've been dealing with below average temperatures actually as of recently, like the last few weeks. So we're not going to see too much of a temperature change as far as getting colder for those regions. But from the central United States eastward for the most part, we're going to be much colder than normal than we have been you know, in the past probably month at least for these regions. Um, and it, it's going to be quite average in a lot of these regions, but we've been far above normal temperatures for a very long time for these regions. So it's going to be noticeable even though we're only going to be average uh, on paper. And, you know, we're really, really going to notice it for these regions. A lot of these people have been dying, you know, for the cold air to come in. They've been just, you know, commenting a lot like, when is this heat ever going to end? And finally, it looks like it has come to an end. You've probably noticed in the last three or so days that for most of these regions, we've seen a big, big, big change in the pattern and the temperature, uh, the temperatures for the most part, we've seen things cool down significantly. Now for your third special note, we're going to go ahead and take note that we will be seeing wet and stormy conditions there for the eastern United States from Texas up through to New England, wet and stormy. There will be dry days, obviously, but these people have also been complaining that it's been quite dry, especially in the southeast, and it's going to be pretty wet and pretty stormy for a lot of these regions. I talked about that in one of my most recent videos, so you can check that out, but we will be seeing you know, a lot of storminess going on for these regions throughout the week, which is exciting because a lot of you have been, you know, dealing with drought like conditions now that have started to develop. So hopefully we'll start to subside those conditions. This will help out to clear away the drought a little bit. It'll take a chunk of that away, obviously. And then last but not least, we see huge snowstorm or even blizzard for these regions on our fourth special note. 9th through 13th, this looks to start developing in the Northern Rockies on the 9th and then eventually go down to where it's affecting mostly the southern Rockies, and then it's going to horseshoe back up and bring very, very stormy conditions to a lot of the central United States, but mostly the north central United States, just to the west of the Great Lakes regions, we will be dealing with significant snowfall. North Dakota looks to get the brunt of this one. The Dakotas, Minnesota, and Montana look to get the worst of the snowfall, uh, maybe even two feet of snow plus. So another huge snowstorm for the northwest and north central United States here. Second one of the season so far. So it just looks to be one of those fall time seasons where we're seeing a lot of snowstorms out there. Uh, which is very, very exciting. It gives us stuff to talk about. Again, if you're in this region and you do get snowfall, please tag us in those photos on Instagram. I love looking at those and talking about those in the weekly forecast. So that would be very, very exciting. And make sure to, you know, show the location. That's, you know, my favorite part is being able to talk about the location, talk about the conditions they saw. And of course, I'll be tagging you or, you know, showing you guys' names at the top of the photos if you do you know, tag us in those. You have to tag us though. So keep that in mind, post it and then tag us in it. Now, speaking of photos, we're going to get started with the photo features of the week. I'm going to be showing the three best ones that we got. In my opinion, my three favorites that we got this week, uh, continue to send those in. Uh, you know, if you take weather photos frequently, send us the ones that you took that week and for your chance to win. And we'll talk about your photos, obviously. So for our first one, this is uh, Matt Harp 27 I believe that's how you say it. He, I've shown his photos before, and this is from Billings, Montana. I think you work in an airport or something. Correct me if you're wrong, if I'm wrong, but I think you work in an airport. We see a Frontier airplane there, uh, and I like this photo. I love the reflecting lights there. It looks like it had been raining or snowing. I think he said it was snowing, and it was pretty cold there in Billings. 
uh, this week. So it, it looks chilly, just the cloudiness. And this looks like it's probably very, very early in the morning. So it just looks especially very, very cold. Very, very cool photos here. Continue to send them in. Matt Harped, I love the airport photos that you send in. And then we see uh, J- Jas Simmons, Jas Simmons 4 sent us this photo of some clouds and then some some trees. You can see the silhouette of those trees. It looks like a very, very chilly photo. I believe he said or she said that this was a, it was very cold when they took this photo. But you see there was no location, so I don't know the location. So it is important to tag the location. That gives me a better idea of what to say about the photo. And then for our third one, this one's from Bridgewater, New Jersey, Racing Caution Facts. You can go ahead and follow them if you'd like. And I think this is, I was trying to decipher what this is that we're looking at here, but I think this is a hot tub cover here. I've seen those before, like a leather hot tub cover. And then it, he said, he or she said that this was their first frost, I think, and it was 33 degrees. So I'm pretty sure this is some icy water on top of that hot tub cover. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you for sending in those photos. Continue to tag us in the photos and we'll continue to share them. I love sharing the photos at the end of every week. So continue to tag us in those. The Instagram will be pinned in the comment if you don't know where to tag Uh, that'll be our Instagram account that you can go ahead and tag in your posts and we will be picking our three favorites every single week. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully next week as well.